Uh, damn it. Uh, Hey guys, what up? Hope in the house. Uh, so yeah, today I'm making a little bit different video. Uh, by the way, ultra wide and then second monitor setup. Originally I had planned to actually have the second monitor up here and uh, that just didn't really work out because the stand I got, which basically hooks onto the back of the desk, um, just wasn't tall enough to go over that over on top of the ultra wide. Um, so I just put it over here in front of the printer, I guess, for now. I don't know. Maybe we'll do something else with it. But uh, anyways, that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is actually um, actually, I just up, uh, updated all my computers to Windows 10, and actually, you, if I show you right here, you can kind of tell by the whole uh, Cortana and all that bullshit going on there. Um, so, uh, this computer actually has really never run that great. It's my, it, it's, it's not my gaming computer that I put all the graphics cards into. The, the this thing has like an AMD 8150 uh, Radeon R7770, um, so it's not really that fast at all. It's basically just something I edit videos on, basically. But, the funny thing is, this computer has always had a problem, and I'm just kind of getting your guys' advice on maybe what the problem is, even though I kind of have an idea of what it is. So basically, as you saw, like, if I, sometimes, like, this computer, like, shit just doesn't work. Um, like, see, videos don't work right now, which is great. And, like, if I go to, like, any video, nothing works. And, even better than that, let's go to the start menu right here. Oh, look, start menu doesn't work. <gasps> um, I think, uh, yeah, Edge isn't going to open. Microsoft Edge, the new browser, totally not going to open. Only reason I uh, Chrome is working, which, by the way, I'm watching uh, Shadow Beats play Fallout, um, is because I opened it right as soon as the computer started. The weird thing about this computer is if you don't open programs right as soon as it boots up, then a lot of times, whenever you go to, like, click on some shit, it says, that shit ain't going to work. <laughs> uh... I, I really am not totally sure why this does it. I've reinstalled Windows like maybe like 15 times to be honest. And so it's definitely not. And, and I've also uh, uh, replaced the boot drive and it's, it's not an issue with that at all. So it's, it's not storage related. I have a feeling it's either, it's gotta be one of three things. I think it's the motherboard, but it could also be the CPU. And I guess it could also be uh, the RAM too. And I guess it could be like a bad ground or something, but I'm pretty confident it's not a bad ground in the motherboard because it would do some different artifacting if it was a bad ground in the motherboard, I think. But anyways, uh, I think it's the motherboard just because, I don't know, it's been through a lot of shit. And this is like the first computer I built, so I didn't really do it that great. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just kind of getting your guys' advice on it. Although I know the reason I think it might be the RAM is because one point I took off a heat spreader on the RAM stick. And that might have fucked up the memory modules on the RAM stick, so, you know, who knows? Uh, <laughs> probably not a good idea to take off the heat spreader off a RAM stick. I also never even installed the I.O. shield on the motherboard, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this, this computer's probably fucked. Um, I'm just kind of getting your guys' advice on maybe what it is. I kind of want to replace the motherboard, but then at the same time, it's an AMD 8150, so I kind of also just want to maybe build an Intel processor computer. I don't know, because... Honestly, this computer is old as shit. I think I built it in 2012, and in computer years, that's like probably 50 years old. Uh, so it's definitely having a midlife crisis right now, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's either the motherboard or maybe the RAM. I don't really think it's a processor, even though I have had the processor overheat one or two times because uh, the, the uh, heat sink got totally filled up with cat hair, um, <laughs> which I know I should keep it cleaner, but goddamn it, sometimes you get busy and stuff and you can't clean it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. Maybe if I should just build a new computer. I mean, I'm kind of thinking about building a building an Intel computer with the Skylake and everything. You know, the uh, 6700K, um, the i7. So maybe we'll do that. Um, if there, if if if, uh, if if I should do that, maybe you guys maybe you could link me some motherboards that I should look at. I don't really know any Intel motherboards to be honest. I only know AMD stuff to be honest. But anyways, uh, so yeah, shit doesn't work. Um, and sometimes like CS:GO and Five Nights at Freddy's doesn't even boot either, which is pretty, uh, pretty shitty. So, uh, yeah, that's my life on this, uh, you know, the monitors look fucking great on this computer, and I got, I got the Audio Engine A A2+, Plus, and I got a subwoofer down there, and, like, everything besides the computer itself is, like, great. But then you go to the computer itself, and it's like, hmm, start menu doesn't work on Windows 10, and videos don't load. Hmm, that's great. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too much longer, but uh, let me know what you guys think, if I should try to repair this computer, and maybe make a video series about it, or if I just, or if I should just build a new computer, which, 
I really don't want to pay for it, but I kind of probably need to just because uh, this computer is on the fritz. So uh, thank you guys for checking out this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And uh, I don't know, I, don't, I mean, like it if you want to, but if you don't, then whatever. I'd actually rather have a comment from you guys, to be honest, in this video. But uh, beyond that, you guys have a crazy motherfucker day. And I'll see you later. This ultra ride is badass, by the way. Look out for a review in the future. It's coming out pretty soon, I think. Hopefully. Mm, probably. Yeah.